let's take a look at how game characters are designed. The first step comes really together with the game designer. We discuss what the game will be like, what role each character has in the game, and try to figure out what kind of personality they might have. It's not enough to say the character's a bad pig. I want to know, is he a scientist, a king, a stupid soldier, or maybe a professor? So to get the personality right, we start drawing. Try to add the unique thing, even though we know that in the game, all the fine details don't necessarily show. Back in the studio, we create what is called key art. Really big paintings with a lot of detail and colors. <laughs> and here's the secret. If we know why Professor Big has certain character traits, we can take something visual and make that his trademark. It can be color, shape, size, a prop like a hat or a cane. Then when we scale down the gameplay, we know exactly which pig is the professor, and that will help the game be more fun to play. Then we take the character art and start building it in a digital studio. The character does not only need to look right, but also have the distinctive ways of moving, or otherwise reacting to elements. And that's a really cool part of character design, especially with pigs. We need to think how they bend, stretch, shake at different type of funny situations. Uh -huh. 